Today we're going to be doing a blood glucose test with the new 406 Connect blood glucose and blood ketone meter. We're also going to be pairing it and uploading all of our results to the iFora HM app. Now before you start this entire process, please make sure that you have fully washed and dried your hands so that we can avoid any kind of contamination. Also, before starting the test, go ahead and download the actual iFora HM app from either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Next, make sure that you have all the re required components for the test. You'll need a lancing device with a lancet or a safety lancet, an alcohol swab, a vial of the 406 Connect blood glucose test strips, and of course your 406 Connect meter. Now it's important to note that the strips do expire, so make sure that you're checking the expiration date prior to doing the test. You can find that either on the top of the box or on the vial itself. Okay, now let's prep our lancing device first. Go ahead and open the device by twisting the cap and then pulling it off. And then insert the lancet into here. Make sure that it's all the way in. And then you're going to twist off the safety disc and remove it. This will expose the needle for the test. And put the cap back on and lock it. Right? Now you're going to select the depth of uh, penetration from the needle. And you can see the little wedges right here on the side. The larger the amount, the more blood will come out from uh, the puncture site once you do that. Next, we're going to go ahead and cock the device by pulling on the tip like this, and you'll notice that the puncture button is actually orange now. That means that it's ready to go. Okay. Now, uh, with the device off, go ahead and take a test strip from the vial. Take one out. And then it's very important that you close the vial tightly after you open it because air can actually contaminate the strips. So make sure that it's always tightly sealed. Then you're going to take the strip and you'll notice that there's a side with all of the four logo and then a blank side. This is the front side of the strip. This is the connector end and then this is the absorbent end. Go ahead and take the strip facing up and insert the connector end into the device. That will turn on the device automatically and then you'll see uh, a blinking blood drop on the screen along with the letters GLU which stands for glucose test. Then you'll also see the letters GEN on the screen and that just means that the testing mode is general which is no regard for whether you've had a meal or if you're fasting whatever your situation may be. Now if you were fasting or you haven't eaten yet go ahead and press the button up and you'll see the letters AC come on and that means that it's prior to eating and then if you press it again, the letters PC will come on. This is post-meal. So this is after you've eaten. So depending on the time of day that you're, you're testing your blood glucose, that's what you would select. Okay, now set that down. And let's go ahead and take the alcohol swab and clean the testing site. You can skip this uh, step only if you've just washed your hands and you haven't touched anything so there's no contamination. Um, otherwise, you'll need to do this to make sure that there's no dirt or any kind of lotion or oils, things like that. So go ahead and let it air dry for a little bit. And then rub the site to make sure that there's enough blood that comes to the area. If you're using a safety lancet, no preparation is needed like with the lancing device. You just take off the cap and then puncture. The needle is already preset. Now, you go ahead and push up. You see it's nice and red. You take the lancing device and you press. And blood will come out and clean the first drop because there can always be a risk of contamination, you know, and you want your test to be completely accurate. Then press again and there is enough blood there. Take the meter with the strip at an angled position to make sure that it absorbs the blood. And Try not to smear the blood on the test strip. There will be a countdown on the actual meter, and you'll see your result right away. Okay. 
At this point, go ahead and open the app, the i4 app that you downloaded. And you'll have to, you know, do the whole app setup with agreeing with the terms before you can open it. Now while it's open, go to the settings tab and then go to Bluetooth smart meter. Take your meter and then eject the test strip by pushing on the eject button. This will turn it off, but it will also turn on the Bluetooth um, signal on the device, on the meter. So then that will allow your app to actually find it. Once you find the name, go ahead and select add and then go back. And then it'll ask you if you want to save or leave. You want to save yes. And then that will automatically prompt the device to import all of your readings from your device. Okay, and then after it's all imported, you can go to data and you will see all of your readings. Okay, now that's it for the test. Now before you clean up and think you're done, go ahead and open the Lansing device and take the needle and put it, push it back into that little safety disc that you removed earlier. This will make sure that when you throw it out, the needle is not exposed. You want to make sure that um, the, the use strip and the use needle are thrown away you know, safely because they are, they are con considered uh, biohazardous and can be contagious. So make sure that any children or any pets, it's out of their reach. And that's it. You've just completed your first blood glucose test with the 406 Connect Blood Glucose and Blood Ketone Meter.